fan needs electricity to move. Vehicles run on fuel. What do we need to run, walk and jump? We need food to carry out all these activities. Food gives us the energy to work, grow and protect ourselves from diseases. But do we all eat the same kind of food every day? No. Every day we eat different kinds of food. Let us learn more about the different types of food and where they come from. James goes to a restaurant and checks the menu for Indian and Chinese cuisine. He reads the ingredients for dosa and fried rice. He is surprised to see that although the two dishes are so different from each other and they come from different cuisines, they both have rice as a main ingredient. Similarly, wheat is used to make a variety of food items such as pasta, bread, cake, biscuits and pies. Milk is used to make food such as cheese, cottage cheese, curd cheese and butter. We saw that most ingredients can be used to make various types of food items. But where do we obtain these ingredients? All the food that we eat mainly comes from two sources, plants and animals. We will look at both these sources in detail. Choose a food ingredient and make a list of the different food items that can be made from that ingredient. Discuss your list in class. James has ordered a yummy salad. What is there in the salad? There is carrot, celery, lettuce, tomato, broccoli and corn. Which parts of plants do these ingredients come from? Carrot is a root. Celery a stem. Lettuce is a leaf. Tomato is a fruit. Broccoli is a flower. And corn is a seed. We use various parts of plants as food. Let us look at the examples of some edible plant parts. Carrot, beetroot, parsnip, radish, turnip and sweet potato are all examples of edible roots. Edible stems include sugarcane, celery and asparagus. We also eat many underground stems including potato, onion, garlic and ginger. Delicious leaves of spinach, cabbage, lettuce, parsley and coriander liven up our food. We eat flowers of many plants such as broccoli, cauliflower, banana and in some places pumpkin. Juicy fruits such as mangoes, kiwi fruit, apples, peaches, oranges and melons are familiar to most of us. Vegetables such as tomato, peas, cucumber and capsicum are actually fruits. Various seeds are edible and they can be divided into groups including cereals, pulses and spices. The green gram known to us as the moong bean is a popular pulse in India. Look at this image. These are moong beans too. But these look different from the moong beans that we saw earlier. Why is it so? These are sprouted moong beans. Sprouts appear when the seeds are allowed to germinate. 
Sprouted seeds can be eaten raw or can be cooked to make a delicious snack. Though plants form a major part of our food, we should not eat unknown plants, as they could be poisonous and harmful to our health. James has ordered a chicken sandwich with fried eggs for lunch. For dessert, he asks for a delicious combo of ice cream and honey. Which food ingredients are not from plants? The answer is chicken, eggs, ice cream and honey. They are all animal products or made chiefly from animal products. Food from animals includes meat, eggs, honey and milk. Humans eat the meat of animals such as cattle, pigs, lambs, goats, chicken, fish, prawns, etc. Eggs are obtained from hens, ducks and geese. Honey is the sweet liquid that honeybees make from the nectar of flowers. People either collect honey from beehives or rear bees in an apiary for honey production. This is called beekeeping or apiculture. Animals such as cows, buffaloes and goats provide us with milk. In deserts, people consume camel milk and people in the Arctic region use milk from the reindeer. Milk is also used to make many products such as cottage cheese, cheese, curd cheese, yogurt, butter and ice cream. Do you know what these products are called? They are called dairy products. An average cow produces around 200,000 glasses of milk in her lifetime. 